You're watching NNN on New Nintendo News. Oh, mm -hmm. This is a gaming show where we keep you up to date with the latest Nintendo related gaming news. On today's show, let's talk about the Switch 2 because although we know nothing about it, there's no point in speculating. Well, we can speculate, but all these rumours that are just floating about, nobody knows anything. It's probably just some little man in a little cave in his basement just making up random rumours, dashing them on Reddit or something to make people talk because he's bored. Half of these rumours we don't even know whether they're true. <laughs> About the Switch 2, we know nothing. We know nothing. Nintendo's released one statement acknowledging the fact that they are working on the Switch successor. That's what they're calling it. They've not even given it a name yet. Please, please call it Super Nintendo Switch. Uh, anyway, what do we want to talk about first? Let's start with the controllers. That's the main gimmick, right? That's the bread and butter of this whole system. Number one on the list, I would like Nintendo to address and fix and make sure that the Joy-Cons on the Switch 2 work perfectly. No problems, no issues from day one. The Joy-Cons this generation on the Nintendo Switch were absolutely abysmal. Do you know how many Joy-Cons I've been through? Do you know how many Joy-Cons I've brought? Do you know how much money I have spent on Joy-Cons? And it's not because I want to. Joy-Con Drift! was one of the biggest scandals to ever hit Nintendo ever. I, it was arguably worse than the Red Ring of Death on the Xbox 360. The Joy-Con Drift issue was so bad that Nintendo got sued for it, but you know, actually Nintendo won the case. So I brought a pair of Joy-Cons, a pair of the red Super Mario ones. I must have been using them for, oh, I swear down, three weeks and they started drifting. They started drifting after three weeks. It's not okay. Joy-Cons are like $79.99. Oh my god, oh my god, stop it. Stop it! Ah! There are rumours though that the next set of Joy-Cons are going to be magnetic. Supposedly, there's a button that you press on the back and it snaps it onto the console and you press the button again and the Joy-Cons fall off. Um, it sounds a bit weird to me. Magnetic Joy-Cons sound a bit weird to me because have you noticed when you hold your Switch? When you hold your Switch anyway, it's a bit... I can't imagine playing a really intense game on my Switch and it's magnetic because those magnetics better be strong, boy, because I feel like I'd just be able to, do you know what I mean, just snap it off like that. Like, how strong are those magnets? Do they have magnets that strong? And if they do, do I even want them near my hands or anything like that? Like, but I, I need to know what this technology is. But anyway, if those Joy-Cons don't drift, we've got no problems. I will also, do you know what I'll tell you what we do need and if you do not have a Nintendo, I, mmm, we will have a problem. I only accept haptic feedback rumble now. If this isn't as good as this, when you are released, when you come out, believe, oh, oh. It's going to be the biggest misstep that you could do, arguably for me. Like, the technology in this rumble is absolutely incredible. The fact that you can hear every pit of patter. I played Returnal and I can feel the rain. I can feel the raindrops permeating through the pad. Like, oh my god. That dual sense PlayStation 5 controller is one of the best things I've ever touched ever in gaming. Uh, Nintendo, you need to copy that. You need that. Make sure you have it. If you don't have it, I will genuinely be gutted. I would like to see though, uh, bigger Joy-Cons. Uh, I've got small hands and these are tiny. I have small hands and these are tiny. I like, so I don't know how you big hand people out there are faring with these, uh, but I genuinely like to see bigger Joy-Cons. Uh, mainly because just from when you hold it from the side, it's crunchy, like, mm, like a little gremlin. I also like some analog trigger buttons, please. You had them on the GameCube, and then we never saw them again. And finally, I would like to see a built-in mic uh, in one of these because Nintendo are finally going to give us a non-convoluted way of doing voice chat when we're playing games online. Just put a microphone in there, like talking to it. Do you know what I mean? Can't get more complicated than that. That's all you need to do. 
the big thing that people are speculating about is the graphics, the horsepower, the actual console. What's that going to look like? What is it going to be capable of? Who knows when it comes to Nintendo? Do you know what people are saying? Oh yeah, 4K and upscaling and, and HDR and ray tracing and all that. But when it comes to it, you never know. Like, we better brace ourselves, you know. The internet has been going wild saying how this is going to be. I and mean, we know it's not as powerful as a PS5, but you know, it's going to have like PS5 quality level of graphics. We need to slow our roll. We, need to, we all need to calm down and be prepared for the worst. We need to be prepared for the worst. They could come out with something that is, but I don't know. Like an Xbox 360. They could. We don't know. But to a certain extent, I still think that Nintendo are conscious about how powerful their console is. Because, and let's face it, Nintendo don't care about graphics and horsepower. But I think they will want to focus on the fact, can our console play other third-party games that are running on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X? Like, I, that's going to be in their heads, I know it is. And that's why I think all these rumours of DLSSR, whatever it's called, upscaling, 4K, um, Blu-ray, ray tracing, whatever you want to call it, that's why I think I'm allowing myself to get hyped up and sucked in. Because Nintendo know that they need to focus on, on graphical power to a certain extent. I mean, it's not going to be no PlayStation 5 portable, don't get me wrong, this ain't going to be a PlayStation 5 portable. I think genuinely it's going to be a PS4 Pro in your hands. That's what I think it's going to be. And I'll be fine with that because Uncharted 4 and The Last of Us still look incredible. No matter what, Nintendo are all about art styles. Yeah, Nintendo will get the most out of their consoles no matter how powerful or weak they are. It's the third party developers that are going to struggle. The only thing that I ask for is that you give us enough horsepower to run these current generation games. That I, that's all I ask for. I mean, I don't want something like Mortal Kombat levels of quality running on there. If you give us games, that port to the Nintendo Switch that are at like, the same quality of what the Mortal Kombat 1 port is, there's no point. But if you give us games that just run at a lower resolution, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I'll take it. Also, give us a bigger screen, give me a bigger screen, give me an 8 inch screen. I'm not bothered whether it's OLED or not. I mean, my OLED is pretty, the colours, the contrast is absolutely beautiful. But we need to keep the price down, to be honest, because I think this could be a bit spenny. I think this Nintendo Switch 2 is going to be a bit expensive, you know. I think Nintendo are going to feel like they can charge what they need to charge for this. I mean, 39999, don't go higher than that. Do not go higher than that, otherwise we're going to have problems. I'm not paying more than £400 for Nintendo Switch 2, I'm not doing it. Nintendo, please just make sure that, that this backwards compatibility, the ability to transfer my games, is seamless. Make sure it exists. Make sure it happens. I hated Nintendo for making me repurchase every single game that I own every single time I buy a new console. When the Wii and the Virtual Console came out and I spent $5.99 per NES game, $10.99 for a SNES game, I can't remember the prices, but I spent a lot of money only to be then told that all those games were locked in that system and when I buy my brand new Wii U console, they're not going to transfer them over. So I had to spend more money. By the exact same games, you made me do it, and I did it because I'm a d When the Switch came out, he told me I had to do it again. Oh, oh, that was the last time. That was the last time Nintendo. If I cannot transfer any of my games to my Nintendo Switch 2, I'm coming to Japan. I'm coming to Japan, Kyoto. Yo, I'm looking to break in this place. Check the sign though, no enter. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna find you. Because I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not doing it. The Nintendo Switch Online, keep doing what you're doing because I think it's a great service. It's cheap. The selection of games that are actually on the Nintendo Switch Online service from the NES, SNES, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, N64, Mega Drive, like, there's a lot. 
there's a lot on there. As well as the fact that you get game trials, you know, you get access to play games for a week. The Switch Online is perfectly fine for the price that you pay for of it. Although I definitely expect a price hike. I expect Nintendo to just keep adding games to the SNES, the 64 libraries. Do I expect GameCube to be dropping on the Nintendo Switch Online service? Absolutely not. Nintendo have realised now that they can just sell their GameCube games as remasters. And make money from it. If Nintendo were to release GameCube games on the Nintendo Switch Online service, they'd be missing out on a ton of money. I mean, Paper Mario Thousand Gear Door sold like what 1.8 million copies. Uh, they could have released that on the Nintendo Switch Online service, but they'd rather make the milli. Um, yeah, I don't expect to see GameCube games on the Nintendo Switch Online service at all. I expect to see remasters released for £60, £70, £80. I don't know how much Nintendo we're going to start charging for their games in the future now that production costs are skyrocketing, but if it, I'll, I'll pay it if it's worth it. I also need to see some good games. I need to see some good games from Nintendo. Solid first party games. Nintendo have had such a long time now to work on some of their games. The team that made Super Mario Odyssey, what have you been doing? <laughs> like, what have you been doing? What have you been working on? Hello? Obviously, you're gonna launch with the Mario. We're gonna, we, we all know that, right? Does everyone know that? Do we know that? We know that, right? We're gonna get a new Mario. Mario Odyssey 2? Probably not, because that probably should have come out on the Switch. Are we gonna get Super Mario Galaxy 3? Probably not. An open world Super Mario game like Browser's Fury. I think Nintendo probably will lean into that. Open world Mario. Does that sound good? Yeah, that sounds good. I think we'll get that. Obviously, Nintendo needs to launch with a new Mario Kart finally. Uh, but Nintendo, give us Nintendo Kart. Give us what we all want. <laughs> Give us Mario Kart 9, call it Nintendo Kart, all characters from every single Nintendo franchise in there, make it um, one of those live game services that all the publishers like to be doing, um, and just release a string of content throughout the whole generation of the lifespan of the Switch 2. Where's Star Fox? Give us a Star Fox. Come back hard with Star Fox. Do you know what I'd like? Oh my god, give us a remake of um, Ocarina of Time. <laughs> oh my god. Do you, know if, um, <laughs> do you know if Nintendo Switch 2 launched with a remake of Ocarina of Time, I would lose my s***, <laughs> mate. Oh my god. That, that would be good. I don't know why I've just got distracted, but yeah. Anyway, Nintendo don't even really have any racing games apart from Mario Kart, so why would you not want to add F0 to your library? Bring back 1080, Excite Bike, Excite Truck, Excite Watch. You've got racing games in your pocket that you're not using. Come on, fill out your library, Nintendo. That's what I want to see. I want to see stuff like that. <laughs> You know, we'll get some of the smaller fans. Well, not we'll get. This is all what I want to see. I want to see the return of the small games, the quirky games like Nintendo do. Games like Chibi Robo, um, Rhythm Heaven. Together now. But I've not got a Rhythm Heaven. You can make one of those in your sleep. Give us a Rhythm Heaven, please. Give us WarioWare. All these kind of weird party, family friendly, unique, smaller games that you can just be making and throwing out throughout the year. Give us some of them, I want to see some of them. We always get a new IP when Nintendo release the console, so I have no doubt that we will be seeing a, some brand new franchises, brand new IP that we've never seen. Will we get the return of ARMS? Probably not, but give us lots of like that. Nintendo fighting game, can you take another stab at a Nintendo fighting game please? Because I really liked where you went with arms. The motion controls were a bit mmm. But I like the fact that you tried to give a fighting game a go. Can you do that again? Can you take another shot at that? Yeah. 
on Smash Brothers. Not for the Smash Brothers. <laughs> in fact, do you know what? I don't even know what to do with Smash Brothers now. <laughs> the game's ballooned so much that I feel like it needs condensing, it needs stripping down back to basics. It needs, we need to start again with Smash Brothers. But I'm not upset about that. Yeah, I mean, if you were to give us all those games within the first Two years. Am I being greedy? <laughs> Am I being greedy? No, I think if you give us those, all those games in the first two years, along with little ones like Pikmin and like, mm, oh my god, that would excite me. That would excite me. That would excite me. That would really excite me. A Creator of Time remake, a brand new open world Super Mario, Nintendo Kart, new Splatoon, and Mario World and Rhythm Heaven, Captain Toad, you know, all these little smaller games. Um, <laughs> I'm happy with that. Mm. However, this is all speculation. We don't know what's going on. We don't know what's coming out in 2025, so. And that's what we have time for today. Thank you for watching. Uh, we appreciate it. You have a lovely day, a lovely afternoon, a lovely night. And we will be back with another episode of NNN very soon. I hope until then, bye!